This is where crime hits the hardest, in the hearts of those struggling to deal with the shock of the loss. For the friends and family of Cassius Glasgow, his killing was too great a burden to bear. They were demanding answers about his killing. Cassius Glasgow, known for coaching the children of the community, was not associated with violence of any kind. Why they kill him? Why? I wanted to tell me why. Elizabeth Joseph was a lifelong friend of Cassius Glasgow. She says he had complained about being a repeated target of robbers. No one thought, though, that it would end up that way. I don't even know how we're going to take that death because I'm not believing that I would have hit. I know he tell me that they always used to track him, to rob him all the time. Every time he come up, so I tell him, well, pass the Cedars Road, or pass and Super Road, and then come up. And that's the end to it. That's what we hear in this morning. It's very hard. I don't know, I don't know. Marsha, yes, greatly missed because every Saturday he takes the children, he brings them on train. Even my grandson, my grandson always look forward to go to that, like Cassius. Cassius would call us and tell us to send MG. Any football match. My son, Jarvis, he raised Jarvis up in football, and Jarvis stayed in football up to now. His friends and family want justice for Glasgow. The man has not trouble nobody. All of the man doing is like train the children, bring the children in the field and train them. The man passing you, knocking him, he not knocking you back. Cassius is a man like he not a man of violence. The man is a humble man. And you all cannot come and do that man and rob the man and kill the man at his home. I know the person will pay for it, they'll pay for it. Anytime you kill an innocent person, you have to pay for it. I just want the police to try their best and get evidence and hold the people, hold them. I want justice. Justice I have to be served in the name of Jesus. The first known homicide of 2020 shook the family and friends of the murdered man. Once again, someone not associated with crime or violence of any kind falls victim to the deadly violence. Stanley Lucien for the HGS News Force.